Hi guys, welcome to this new video on Java. In this video, we I will be showing you how to download the latest Java development kit in your uh, system and set up the environment variable for it in such a manner that you can run your Java programs even from the command prompt. This setup can also be used for other softwares like Spark and Hadoop. So firstly, you can open any of your favorite browser and search for Java JDK download. So it will take you to, to this Oracle site. So open this site. So here you will find all the Java versions that are pretty stable. So the latest one is Java SE 14 and Java SE 11 uh, is the latest stable release as well as the uh, most stable version recommended by uh, Oracle itself is Java 8. So you can download any of them uh, which is uh, according to your requirement but I will suggest that you download any version which is above this uh, Java version 8. So for the sake of this video if you want to download Java SE 14 you can go ahead with it. So just click on this JDK download and uh, on the next page you will see different type of operating systems here. So since I am using Windows 10 operating system, so I have this uh, Windows uh, into 64 installer. So just click on this uh, JDK 14.0.2 Windows into 64 pin exe. You should not click on this zip one, just click on this exe file. So once you click on this exe, so just review and download. So your download will get started. So since I have already downloaded it, so I don't need to download it again, but you can download it up till this point. So now in the downloads folder, you can find for your JDK exe file that you have downloaded. But for the sake of this video, I will be showing it in JDK 11 and will be setting up the environment variable for the same. But the process for JDK 14 is exactly the same. So you don't need to worry about anything. Just follow the steps along with me. So just double click on this JDK and you will get a pop-up shows that this software has been installed on your computer would you like to reinstall so since a java jdk has been installed on my system i won't install it again but you just need to click on next and keep the default path and just click on next and click on finish and after you finish the jdk download you will see in your c drive in the program files you can see the java folder which has a jdk so up till this point, I hope that everything is clear to you and you should uh, check your C drive in the program files. You will find the Java folder in that you will find the JDK version that you have. So I have just renamed the JDK version to simply JDK and inside this JDK, you will find this uh, all the folders and inside this bin folder, you will find all the essentials that are required to run a Java program on a Windows PC. So the installation of JDK is pretty simple. After this point, you just need to set up the environment variable. So just you need to go inside this JDK and copy the path up till this point that is C program file Java JDK. Just copy it. Now you need to go to the start option and search for environment variables. Then in this pop up, click on this environment variables and now you need to create a new environment variable for your Java programs. I have already created an environment variable for my Java, Java JDK 11. So it is uh, called as Java home. So for you to, so for you as beginners, just click on this new option and you will get uh, this pop up with variable name and variable value. So in the variable name and variable value, what you need to paste is this thing is you need to write Java underscore home in caps and you need to paste the file to your JDK. So my Java is installed in C program files Java JDK. So just paste it up till here and click on OK. So once you click on OK, you will see this Java home in the system variables and now your environment variable has been created. So if your Java JDK gets installed in some other location, so you should note that this Java home should have the exact location of your JDK. But since in my case, it was in program file Java JDK. So I have kept the same path. So just click on OK. After that, you need to find the path. So here you have the path variable. Just click on edit. You should note that you should not delete or edit any of the existing variables. You just need to add new variables. So click on this new option. So since I have already written the bin path to the Java home in my uh, path variable. 
so i don't need to write it again but you need to write it so write this thing that is in percentage you need to write java home slash bin so just write it exactly the way this is so once this is done click on ok click on ok and click on ok so your java installation jdk installation is completed now to check whether java is installed or not you need to open the command prompt using cmd then you can click on java so it shows that java is installed now if you want to check for the version of java that is installed in your system so you need to write java hyphen version so you can check that java version 11 has been installed in my system and if you want to check for the java c that is java compiler version so you can write java hyphen version so it is java c 11.0.2 once java is installed on your system now you can also compile and run java program from your command prompt i will leave the link to an another video of mine where i have shown you how you can do it in the suggestions here and also in the description below i hope that all the steps that i have shown you in this video are clear to you if you have any doubts regarding any of the steps regarding the download or how to set up the environment variables feel free to write in the comment section below if you like my work please do hit the like share and subscribe button